I muted him and didn't let him unmute. So sorry about All that. All right. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Big waves to you. Now, I want to tell you, if you don't want to cut, hey, this week, if you're not looking for some some energy, you might not want to plug into the coach's corner. We come in, we come in with energy this week, um, it, no matter what the word is. So, But I got to tell you this, over the next couple of days, we're going to talk about three different words that all sit into the same category, okay? And what I mean by that is you, over the next three days, you're going to be able to go, man, I'm this person, or I'm more like this, or I'm more like this, okay? And I'll just go ahead and tell you, today our words, pessimist, pessimist. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about realist. And then on Wednesday, we're going to talk about being a person of vision, a visionary person. I, I cannot wait to talk about these and experience these with you. So the first one, we got to get the, we got to get the tough one out of the way, right? being a pessimist. So what does the definition say? A person who tends to see the worst aspect of things or believe that the worst will happen. Now, don't say anybody's name on here, but here's the thing. Do you have someone in your life or it possibly could be you that you would go, man, they're, they're a pessimist. They're a pessimist. They see the worst in things. They think the worst is going to happen. Somebody said negative. I see you, Leanne. Negative Nelly. That's what Myra would say. So Mark Twain said this. There is no sadder sight than a pessimist. There's no sadder sight than a pessimist. So. Here's some quick signs real quick. Signs of a pessimist. Because I'll be honest, have I fell into this category before? You better believe it. Absolutely I have. So here's some signs. If we know the signs, we know how to stay away from it. Expecting the worst in a situation. Experiencing surprise when a, situ when a situation turns out well. I can't believe that happened. I don't ever win anything. Becoming annoyed with those who are more optimistic. Have you ever had times in your life where somebody's positive, upbeat, they're talking about the future, the vision, and you're like, just shut up. Get on with it. Not exploring things you want to try because you believe you may fail. That's a pessimist. I'm just not going to try it. Because I fell before and I'll fail again, I feel like. Maybe you don't say it, but you're thinking it. So really quick, in my three minutes, ways to stop being pessimistic. Number one, replace every negative thought with a positive. If I think something negative in the day, train myself to think something positive right after it. Number two, make a gratitude list. What am I grateful for this Monday? I'm grateful for my health that I got up. I put my two feet on the floor. I was able to walk. Uh, what are you grateful for today? Number three, stop seeing setbacks as failures. Setbacks are not failures. Setbacks is a learning experience. It's a setback for a setup for a comeback. That's what it is. Number four, doing good things for others. Man, when I start fit, just go out, add value into somebody else's life. Number five, find an outlet to release negativity. Is it a punching bag? I hit on a punching bag this morning. Is it a punching bag? Find an outlet. Just make sure it's not like somebody, okay? You can't punch somebody. Number six, have people around you that provide you with positive energy. Why do I partner with Aunt Myra Miles, Andrea Rosser? Because they bring positivity back. They don't suck the life out of me. They add value to me. Who do you got? Find someone you can vent to. You got to have that person. You got to have that person, right? 
And then last, include movement in your life. You know, we got another community that some of us are in called Level Up. So proud I got a community of people that challenge me to just get out and move, get out and walk, get out and get in the nature, get out and exercise, because it does so much for our brain and keeping us away from being that pessimistic person. So, Coach Myra, I'm on time. I'm going to turn it to you. Hey, you go as long as you want to every single day, buddy. I, uh, that was a really great message, and thank you. And I hope I don't overlap on some of your points, but, you know, sometimes when we hear the same thing more than once, it kind of resonates with us. So, all right, here we go. To be pessimistic is someone whose state of mind always expects the worst. That's what Coach was talking about. It's just always. Do you know anybody like that? Are you like that? You know, let's think about it. Pessimistic thinking is negative thinking that is characterized by the belief that bad things are just a common occurrence. Like Coach said, always just thinking. It's always bad. Gloom and doom. And they don't ever, ever, a pessimistic person very rarely speaks about hope. It's all just gloom and doom. As someone said a while ago, negative Nelly. A pessimist believes that all bad events are just all coming. Again, do you know people like that? Are you a person like that? Honestly, We've all had our pessimistic moments. You know, when I'm asking you, you know, this question, heck yeah, have I been a pessimist before? Oh my God, I'm gonna sit here and be lying if I said I had. I, that's, I think it's human nature that we have that in us sometimes, especially when the frustration mounts. When we feel like we've done everything that we can and it's still nothing happens. Then here comes that old pessimistic head out starts yapping, starts getting in our ear. So yeah, it happens to all of us. And it's okay to say that. It totally is okay. So how do we stop being so pessimistic? The simplest way is to get out of this and get out of our own head. Get out of our own head. Bring positivity into someone else's life. Notice I didn't say into my life. I say bring it into somebody else's life because I don't know if you're like me. But if I do something for someone else and it brings them joy, oh, it's on. Myra is happy. And I think everybody here understands that. Pass it on to someone else. So do you think you're a pessimist? Have here are some signs that you're pessimistic. According to this article that I read last night late in my office. First of all, you might be a pessimist if you think you're not a pessimist. <laughs> you know, I love simplicity, and that's just flat out simple. If you don't think you are, guess what you might be? And you also, if you find boundless optimism boring, you might be a pessimist. Man, some of my favorite people in the world, like Brent was talking about, it, it, it's... It, it, it does me so much good to be around Brent, Andrea, to hear all of y'all smiling, see all your smiling faces and hear all the positivity. A pessimist thinks that's boring. You're not necessarily negative if you're a pessimist, but negativity comes easier than positivity. And that, my friends, if that's the case, that's just a trained trait that you have allowed yourself to get into. If you're a pessimist, optimistic people annoy the crap out of you. Well, you know what I say? Annoy the crap out of people today, okay? Get on them, be happy, be optimistic. And here's another one that I wanna end with as far as the signs, you might be pessimistic, if you find negative, even in the good. You know, and again, I have been guilty of that. So think about those points right there. 
So we need to do a self check daily to make sure we do not fall into the pessimist category. Our focus every single day, y'all, should be guided by optimism, not pessimistic thoughts. So I'm gonna leave you with two quotes. First one is from William James. Pessimism leads to weakness. Optimism leads to power. I love that. And the last one, I, I could not find who this quote was from, but I loved it. An optimist breathes life into you every day. A pessimist will drain you. Stay away from the pond drainers, the people that drain you. Stay away from them. So what will you be today? My guess is you will not choose being pessimist. I love you. Y'all have a great day. Coach, when I heard the, when I, when I read your notes, I said, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. So good that I had a conversation with somebody this morning and I said, oh my goodness, it is beautiful outside today. And they said, well, it's a little cold. And I said, <laughs> I'm going to send you a text because you need to get on the coach's corner. So I hope Amen. they're here this morning. And if you are, I'm speaking to you. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> we're Love speaking it. to you. So as we close today, Coach Myra and Andrea, I want to give away a book that I'm actually doing in the gym in the mornings. Um, and we're right now, right now we're focused on what? Setting ourselves up for 2022, right? I love December because December comes with a lot of great things but it also comes with preparation for setting your next year up. And there's a book out by James Clear called Atomic Habit. Yes. Atomic Habit. Coach, Fantastic. you read that? Fantastic. Fantastic read. Uh, but I'm actually on audio listening to it in the gym in the mornings. And I want to give this away. And here's how you win. Okay. Here's a chance for you to win. Here's all you got to do. Take a screenshot right now of our coach's corner. Go out somewhere on social media, hopefully in your Instagram stories, other stories. There it is right there, Coach. James Clear, Atomic Habits. And we're going to pick five people. Five people I'm going to send a book to. I'm going to send Atomic Habits to you by James Clear. All you got to do is you got to tag me, okay? You got to tag me. You got to tag Meyer. You got to tag Andrea so that we can pick five people. We're going to randomly select five people and award you with this book and i'm let, let's go ahead and do one on you all right here's what i want i want you to type in the comments okay we're gonna win today right type in the comments win we're gonna finish up this right here we're gonna win we're gonna have a day where we're winning we're gonna pick somebody on here too and give a book too here we go five four three two one Who's the lucky winner, Andrea Rosser? Christy Elliott. Christy Elliott. Great job, great job, great job. We're sending you – make sure Andrea has your address, Christy, and we're going to pick five more out there on social media. Get the word out about the Coach's Corner, guys. We love you. We're grateful for you. And have an absolutely amazing Monday. Thank you, coaches. Great message. Thank you. Thank you. Great message. Thank you, coaches. Love you guys. Great